Hello. Hello, guys. Hello, everyone. I am here. I am streaming. I don't know what I'll be streaming. I'll be streaming something. But yeah, 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 I am, uh, I am, a uh, hashtag literally, uh, undecided as the boys, uh, say, hashtag, you know, uh, yeah, 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 so we're, we're gonna, we're winging this, we're gonna look at my Steam library for a second. Uh, well, hello there, um, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm playing, I'll be, I'm playing something. Oh, right. I did a thing, right? I discovered... So, apparently, like... It's really, nah, not that late. 10 p.m. Uh, I just don't know what I'm going to stream. I just felt like streaming today. But, uh, something that I actually... So, I didn't know this, right? Until I started messing around with my computer. Because I do that occasionally when I'm bored. So, you know how, like, there's function keys, uh, F... 1 through 12 like on most standard keyboards apparently under was it ascii it might not be ascii but just like general like computer stuff it goes all the way up to function 24 there is f f f1 2 3 4 5 all the way through f24 they just keyboards don't use f13 to 24 so they're just blank function keys that you can just bind to anything which means I have a macro pad, right? Yeah, I have a macro pad. I use it just to like for various things like increasing volume or volume, stuff like that. Uh, just general controls. Uh, I have a couple macros on there for just like general uh, productivity. Which means I now have 12 buttons that I can just make do things. And one of the things I did is that I buy I hotkeyed. Yeah, pretty much. But like, one of the problems I had was like, yeah, this is many extra keys because one of the problems I had when like trying to hotkey stuff, especially in OBS and things like that, is like, what do I bind things to? It's like I can't just bind it through one through five or the numpad because those are things that are generally used both in video games and just with computers. So it's just like, and then eventually I discovered F F13 to 24 is like, okay, so I can have F13 to go straight to my uh, gaming scene, F14 to go back to my chat scene, uh, F6, F yeah, F15 to go to my outro, F16 to go to my intro, and yeah, I can just switch scenes. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I've discovered power. I could switch scenes as I like. Uh, F24 is actually bound to my mute, so I could just blah, 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 blah. And then I'm talking. Yeah, F24 is bound to my mute. So. Yeah. And then I still have, that's only what? Five bonds bound? I still have another 12, I can't math. I have another 7th if I need it for anything, if I get more scenes in the future. Because right now I only have 4 scenes. I have my gaming, my zatsu, my intro and outro. I don't need more scenes because I'm not doing anything insane. And if I I'm, if I do decide to do something weird, chances are it's a temporary scene anyway, so I don't need a dedicated hotkey for it. Yeah, that is useful. It's also like... It's it's one of the big reasons I was wondering how a stream deck works. Now I still don't know how it works. Maybe it uses it injects its own little extra keys. But it's also very possible that a stream deck works just by using those F13, <laughs> F24. Keep on your forward repeats would be great. Um, you might be able to do that depending on how like Domino's API works because it has easy order. So I feel like it would be really easy to set it up somehow. I don't know. I'm also stalling by the way, because I don't know what I'm playing yet. Uh, I don't want to play Metal Gear because I just don't want to... I, I kind of want that dedicated to like a main planned stream. 
You know, I I say planned stream, but all my streams I only announce like a few hours before. It's not like that. I don't know. This is whatever. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to play. I have an idea of what I want to play, but I'm not sure how exciting. It is. If I play it, it's, you're just gonna see me farming because I already have a save. It's not like a. <laughs> It's not something that I, I, I'm particularly interested in restarting. If you see me play, you're just going to be CV messing around. So, I don't know. But I mean farming, by the way. I mean, like, grinding farming. Like, farming for, like, a draw. <laughs> not, not, like, farming, like... I don't know. Let me look through my list first, just to make sure. Grind Exatsu. It would be. But it'd also be spoilers. <laughs> because it's an anime game. Because, you know, anime games I absolutely insist on having the most grindy, like, mechanics in the world. So, like, if it's Exatsu, I will just gush about lore for, like, an hour. Uh, okay, wait, let me just, like, look through. So it's either that, I'm saying that because I don't want to say it yet. Dragon's Dogma, again, another a game I have sa save into, so I'm not, like, interested in restarting. Spacecraft game? Oh, uh, Dark Old Sun? I could, I could. See, my problem with Dark Old Sun at the moment, maybe it's um, maybe it's because I'm bad, is that so far it seems to be made for like one ship and it's not really balanced around the others. Like I'm not sure if you recall, we got like hardcore like soft locked because we couldn't shoot around for uh, yeah. Oh, bye Joho. You can always switch. The, technically, this game, the, the thumbnail says just gaming. It ain't give a game. We can technically just keep bouncing around. Alright, so I'm gonna just. I might need to adjust the volume in this game. It's pretty. Give me a sec. Let me open the game, adjust the volume, then I'll come back. Here's a game, trust. Okay, I'll show my bed. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Attack on Titan. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle. <laughs> Welcome to. There is no game is a good game. I've already watched like three playthroughs of it though, so I'm not sure if I'll get much out of it. So, uh, yeah. Recently, I've, I've started playing this game again, and I'm grinding through this, like, uh, it's called Territory Recovery Mode. And the premise of it is actually quite interesting. So, the events of the game... Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Squirrel. Uh, so, the events of the game... Uh, the events of the anime still happen to the fall of uh, Wall Maria. But after that, rather than the scouts do their thing, blah, blah, blah. The military government was like, well, you know, things suck. A wall just fell. We lost like a good portion of humanity and territory. What are we doing? Let's cons let's remove all divisions of the uh Remove all divisions from the What the hell? Oh right, because I upgraded the plaza. Sorry. I, I did that last time. Um they said uh 
They said, let's remove all the different regiments, use them all into one regiment under one leader and reclaim territory from the Titans because, you know, this is an actual serious thing. So that's the whole premise of this. And we are the, uh, we are the commander of this new regiment. That's why he have these, this new fancy logo. It is a seashell, which I chose because I thought it'd be cool. Because as you might know, the whole uh, Aaron's thing is he wants to see the ocean and stuff. He wants to see the outside world. So I thought it'd be a cool logo to choose as the new division. New uh, regiment. The United Regiment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, spoilers, by the way. The name of this uh, the regiment, I'll just show you. Uh, we'll go back to the war room. Back to the war room. All right, first off, spoilers for the last season. Okay, when I say last season, by the way, I mean the last season in all its parts. <laughs> because there's like four parts or whatever. So the the name of my... Eh, it's fine, you don't need to know it. So the name of the regiment is called the Eldian Empire. Because... <laughs> Because, uh, if you didn't know from the story, the Titans are all Eldians. Uh, Eldians are, uh, like a, a race of people who have the, all descend, basically, from the same, like, group of people who are, quote-unquote, the original Titans. Uh, the Titan... I'm gonna geek out too much. Uh, ba basically, there was a, a lead... There was a, there was a first Titan, the founding Titan. <laughs> And she was an Eldian and blah, blah, blah. They all Eldians are descended from the Titans, etc. So I, I decided to name it after I just thought it was cool. Uh, there's plot reasons why I also think it's cool, but yeah. Where is the... But yeah. So uh, because, as I, remember, as I mentioned before, that the different... There's no regiments anymore. You just get like a mix of people. I just started this, so you don't... I don't have everyone yet. So you have Nifa from the Scout Regiment, Marco, who, uh, spoilers to Season 1, died, so he's alive. Uh, John, uh, Scout Regiment slash Training Regiment, Armin, Scout slash Training. Yeah, Marco technically is only a... Yeah, but yeah, so people who are dead in the series just straight up exist now. Yes, I'm playing with control. I would never not play this with a control. It's annoying to play with a... Keyboard and mouse. Uh, yeah, and the character I'm playing as is my creative character. Her name is Milky. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then I just have the. Uh, I, I might have grinded. I might have grinded a lot. Don't worry about it. Uh, I have the best horse, even though technically you don't really need. Okay. Oh right, uh, something cool. Uh, if any of you watch uh, season three of Attack of Titan, you might know that there are guns like a three D, a three dimensional gear or ODM gear, depending if you watch Dub Sub, whatever. I don't really care. The Dub is actually pretty nice. Uh, they have guns. They have guns. So this is the, uh, hold up. This is what it looks like, the, like the, in the anime, the default guns, right? But you can actually like go around with like different versions. So this is the, uh, this is like the sniper gun gear. And you have a bunch of different types, like, uh, so this is the Genesis gear, which is like a sort of quote unquote high tech like alien, like electronic tech laser gun thing. I haven't grinded <laughs> nearly as much with the guns because they're they're not annoying. They use different components that are just awkward to get. I have this. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. But I. Uh, I prefer blades, so that's what I'll be using. Uh, right now I'm just using the perfected blade, but 
there there are other good blades out there like uh this the katana the kusanagi zero is probably the highest damaging blade out there oh wait no this is actually the highest the exploding gun blade but uh it's a bit short yeah. Yeah. and the damage difference isn't that big so i feel like just using the overall nice overall perfected blade is just a nice thing yeah, so that's uh that's me and anyway let us let's go to expedition so you get to see me go new 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 Oh yeah, so we get, uh, during these, uh, expeditions, we only have specific turns, because we only have so many supplies. The goal of it is to reclaim as much territory as possible, and then when you have these people showing up, like, uh, over here, like you see, uh, Berthold is over here, and then over here is, uh, what's her name? Do you want to remember her name? Krista. Yes, Krista. Actually, no, not I already spoiled everything. I don't remember her original name because her real name is Historia. <laughs> so I, I just know her as Historia. That's a spoiler, by the way. Don't worry about it. I've already spoiled a bunch of things earlier, so I'm just going to throw that out the window. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Krista's over here. Uh, yeah, uh, and th that's how you recruit people. You basically uh, do their missions whenever they show up on the map. I'm gonna go get her because because I want to go out into the Wall Maria. We're in the Wall Rose outskirts. We already conquered the plains. Mountain range would be nice, but I want to go a bit south because these areas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's go. So yeah, every node travel is a uh, remaining turn is a uh, turn used, as you can see in the top left. So that's how you, you have to get within those turns. When those when those turns end, you return back to the base, and then you have to travel again. So the whole idea is to keep upgrading yourself, get more supplies, etc., etc. Uh, yeah, these are little uh, supply bases. You can build stuff there to help you out throughout the fight. And basically the objective of this game is to just Technically it's not to kill all the titans, it's to complete the red objectives So if you see on the mini-map there's a red objective mark And the objective is that one but uh so yeah here there's a uh, side missions and then you get uh where's notices yeah so there's the victory conditions there and then you get the special mission conditions and then this you get two special mission conditions when you get that you trigger the um the dire elimination the dire elimination is a stronger titan that pops up that might be harder they have different stats it might be one of the uh Spoilers again, one of the intelligent titans, but a variant of it. So like the gorilla titan, the beast titan, the jaw titan, the cart titan, the female titan, the armor titan. I've not, sh I've never encountered it. There might be a colossal titan. 
uh, like variant out there. But so far, I've not encountered it. I've only ever fought the actual Colossal Titan. So yeah, that's that. Uh, so, so right now, by the way, since I just started this, this isn't on the highest difficulty. That's why I'm a bit OP. I've already played through the second to highest difficulty, uh, Inferno mode. Uh, that's the Echo's hardest Inferno, and then I think Eden. I I forget what the last one is. I haven't unlocked it yet. Uh, but this uh, Scout a uh, territory reclamation mode, uh, you because you start off, you don't get to jump difficulties just yet. Uh, so right now this is normal. That's why I'm a bit OP. Also, these are low rank missions. Uh, if you saw on the map before, before we started, this is a three star mission. 100 level 120 is the max. I've just peaked. I've peaked at the max. Uh, level 100. Uh, uh, this is a three star mission. I think the highest is like 10. So we're like literally doing baby missions. So we're just trying to grind through to get to the top, then rank and reset with a higher difficulty, and then so on and so forth. That's why I meant. That's why I said this is like a grinding farming thing for me right now. I'm not, until I get to that point, I won't be able to get like the gear I want because I'm trying to upgrade my gun gear and stuff. Okay, so the dire elimination this time is just a uh, just a normal, nothing weird. So as you can see, these have green arms. The green arm is like a the green arms is like a second health bar for them. You can see it recharging under the. Recharging under the other arm, and you can't deal damage until you get rid of the uh, temporary health, basically. And there you go. Large abnormal eliminate. Plane is clear of titans and then we move on. Again, again this is what I meant by farming here. So, a little bit about my build. Because there are builds, there's like skills and stuff. My build is very uh, blade attack heavy. As you might have been able to tell, I can just cut up pretty much a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, and there's camaraderie, like friendship ranks basically. Yay, we get Krista. Uh, it says invite, don't invite because technically you have a max max uh, recruitment thing but i have more than enough space at the moment so yeah yeah we still have 13 turns so i think i'm gonna oh yeah see this would be my about three stars so the highest is nine? Oh, i thought it was 10. okay i guess that's nine uh we could also go over here this is a four star that might be a bit better for us since we're a bit op this is another four star I think we're gonna go here just so we can get Barthold. It'll we'll cut our thing by half, but uh, so red nodes are advancing forward. You get different versions of the characters. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, up. Bizarre time warning. Okay, we'll do that later. Uh. What do you mean different characters? Do you mean like... Wait, no. 
we get different costumes for people, but for the most part, we only get the one character. Uh, yeah, just one to level up. Krista is a C rank. So we can also train them up. I'll probably do that later. All I'm really concerned about at the moment is myself. If I'm going to be completely honest. I'm trying to get uh, their ranks up because they're like buddies. All right, let's do this. We'll go back to kill the, the that Titan. Right on here. Oh yeah, occasionally you'll get uh, maps like this where you're close enough to the wall so the wall can provide you with support. <laughs> Oh, right. Um, in case it looks like I'm like moving really fast and so I multi dash and multi strike. Uh, multi strike, if you've watched the anime, is basically when like imagine Levi yo yoing between like slingshotting between Titan to Titan. That's what multi strike is. That's why I have that multi dash. Uh, Thick Mikasa, like dashing multiple times without using her wires. Uh, just like dash in the air using the ODM's, uh, like the steam feature, the gas feature, the gas pushing. Uh, yeah, and then I just have all the strength buffs, all the dexterity buffs, all the concentration buffs, all the agility buffs. Yeah, and then these are from, yeah. So that's my entire build basically is just geared towards fighting people that's how i'm uh dashing a lot uh soup attack uh yeah this is what old people uh soup attack is if you think about aaron his like quote unquote signature move where he uh i don't know he uh, like basically reaches back with both of his blades above his head and then slashes down i wouldn't say it's his move but i think he was the first person in the anime to do it and in the game, that's actually this is actually his signature skill that I learned from him. Spinning slash, also a Levi move. It's spinning, and the cool thing about if you have swoop and spinning, uh, you might I'll show it to you. If you have swoop and spinning, <laughs> never mind. I gotta save her. Okay. If you have swoop and spinning, if you come uh, too too close. Okay, hold up. Alright, you have swoop and spinning. Come come down for the top. Okay, never mind. Okay, I had to save him so I couldn't do it. Let's find another one to demonstrate what I mean. Alright, swoop and spinning. I do like a up down spinning move. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, I don't I don't think I have enough real length to do this. But, yeah. Yeah, you see me spinning like that? That's what happens when you combine a uh, swoop and a uh, spin.
Ooh, hey. I got cannon. So also, despite what I'm making it look like, your angle of attack does matter. You do need to aim for the nape in order to like, from a good angle to get damage in. So you saw there, I failed a couple times. That's because I didn't have a good enough angle. Can I even save her? Am I close enough? Wait, where is she? What am I looking at? You guys are seeing the SOS on the map, right? What are you- You're not- You're not- You're not in danger! Miss? Hello? Well, okay. You know what? Whatever. Oh yeah, I get the guy. I want to show you guys something cool. So remember how I have purple on my team now? So. <laughs> yeah. I have Bertolt on my team now. Yeah. Honestly, that's one of the reasons why I like this game. Not because it's like a predict like if I'm gonna be completely honest, it's like a a fairly mid game. Like it's it's not that great. Like there's some buggy things here and there, and like the grinding is kind of insane. But, but, hold on, is the game a bit quiet? I didn't even realize my mixer thing down here is like really low. How's this for you? I boosted it to the max. But you can do stupid stuff like that. It's brilliant. Oh, yeah, another spoiler, by the way. Bertolt's is the colossal type. At this point, I don't care. We're just spoiling AOT all, to all the way. Yeah, and now we get to fight the, uh, this Bizarre Titan. So, Bizarre Titans are what they call the, uh... Bizarre Titans are the, uh... Intelligent Titans from the, uh, from the show, if you know them by that. If you're further along in Season 4, you might know them as one of the Nine Titans. Uh... So yeah, the Bizarre Titans are variants of those, uh, Titans. Of those, uh, nine Titans. So, let's go. Ready. Yeah. 
しれないけどできたらみんなで生き残りたいな。Oh, yeah, I guess I can show you this. There's another mechanic in the game where you can sneak attack. It's kind of an awkward mechanic, though, so I tend not to use it. But it is there if you really want to. Alright, right, to trigger the bizarre thing. Okay, so this is a variant of the、uh, cart Titan. Yeah.、Uh, in case you're not familiar with the way the, titan, the different Titans and their like, abilities, so specifically the Car Titan's、um, like, power. I know, I killed it. The Car Titan's power is that you see how it's carrying stuff? Uh, it's the most suitable for carrying gear because it can just carry a lot. Like,、um, all the Titans can carry a lot, but it's very suitable for carrying weapons, equipment.、Uh, it has the ability to communicate verbally, like, it can talk.、Uh, other Titans have exhibited the same ability,、uh, especially within the Nine Titans. But the Card Titan specifically has that, like, it's their thing. The others just learned how to do it. Or they have some other reason why they're able to, like, the Beast Titan can do so because his beast form is a monkey. So,、uh, he just. His beast form is a monkey, so it develops similar to Human Soul's vocal cords. Yeah, that's、uh, what else. The Car Titan also has the longest、uh, endurance of any of the Nine Titans.、Uh, that be. That. Meaning that they have had the Car Titan has the ability to stay transformed、uh, for months on end, as opposed to the other Titans where they tend to drop off after, let's say, three, four, three, four months. So that's the difference.、Uh, so it's just like best suited for long range missions where you have like specific, specific things you might want to do or like objectives you might have. See, like, what it's like. I should be able to do it on this one. So, basically, it's just like、uh, if you're not detected by the Titan, you basically get a guaranteed kill if you can try to destroy it. I particularly don't see the need for sneak attacks because it's very easy to just to, like, kill a Titan. Especially if it's just a pure Titan and not one of the stars. That's useful on a game.
さすがだね君がいてくれて心強いよComplete subjugation is the highest subjugation rank you can get. That means you attacked perfectly and you had no、uh, bounces. So you can bounce an attack. You can bounce an attack on a Titan、uh, if you don't attack at the right angle、uh, or you don't have enough speed, which means you can't slash through whatever part you're trying to go for. So if you ever bounce an attack,、uh, you get grabbed. You take damage from the Titan like it takes a swipe at you.、Uh, that counts as a demerit and you don't get a complete subjugation. A complete. So, a supreme subjugation means you just got grabbed once, you got attacked once, something like that. Efficient subjugation means you might have messed up a lot, but you got the kill anyway. That's the lowest rank you get. It's efficient, supreme, complete. Complete means that you had all your attacks were connected properly, you weren't too slow. You didn't bounce any attacks, you weren't grabbed, etc. Uh... Yeah, sorry, give me a sec. I got a text. Hmm. Just, don't worry, guys. Just from a family member. Nothing much. Nothing serious. Okay. Alright. Yeah, and now we're out of supplies, so we're trying to do this. Yep. And then, as you can see, we recovered 27% of、uh, territory. We got 200,000 materials. I、uh, had four victories because we only did four battles. So, yeah, and that's the、uh, wait, I can make her use what? <laughs> yeah, this is why I shouldn't click, I just click everything, man. What did it say? Oh, is it telling me I can capture? I've already maxed out capture.、Uh, so you can capture pretty much all the Titans in the game. So there are actually different. So, like, there's a. What is this? 
three, one, two, three, four, five, fifteen different uh, normal, normal three beater titans. These little guys. So there's actually fifteen different variants. Like they're all, they all don't look the same. I mean, they all eventually will look the same because there's only fifteen. But like in a mission, you will encounter different types. Like this guy's longer arms. This guy has shorter arms, etc. Sort of, sort of. And then you get the abnormal ones. Yeah, there's actually quite a bit. I haven't captured all the tie-ins because you don't really need to. Eventually, at a point, you'll see that research level 10 is all you need to get like the, uh, the tie-in knowledge, which lets you deal more damage against the tie-in. So yeah, this is what I meant about the different, sorry. This is what I meant about the different variants of tie-ins. So you got the, the variants of the intelligent titans. You got the different armor titans, the female titans, beast titan, uh, jaw titan. It's like a nice little. As far as I'm aware, no. It is very easy to die if you're not paying attention, though, and if you're not moving fast enough. Because, uh, especially, so again, this is normal mode. In Inferno, they will just react faster. Uh, you know, what? let's just, I'll show you. Hold up. <sighs> so I did look it up because I was curious. So one of the problems with games like this, one of the problems with games like this is that they don't really, not enough people play it where there's like, you could find, you could Google the answer. Let, let's take something like, uh, you take something like Hogwarts, right? Hogwarts like you see, like within a day of release, you have people answering, oh yeah, you could do this quest by doing, uh, go, go find the dude here, blah, 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 blah. For this, you, it takes a while, and it's based on, like, if people actually play it or not. There's very little knowledge. As far as I'm aware, there's a person who will spawn here at the plaza, at this statue, and will let you change difficulties. I have yet to see him here. So, my, my theory is that you'll get him if you complete normal mode uh, reclamation, territory reclamation first. Because I don't see any, he's not here. And I don't know how to get him to spawn. The internet won't come. Yeah, again, this is just gonna be a lot of like quick in and out missions for me. Nothing really too deep. I'm just gonna be killing titans, blah blah blah. Ooh, Aaron! Alright, so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna get Berthold. We're going here for Berthold. Then we're gonna go get Aaron and wherever, wherever he was. Oh yeah, so you see this? 
there how I bounced. So it's a failed attack. That's what, how you get a supreme. do for you just to break up the monotony そう<笑> different than blade mode because unlike blade mode you don't need really to approach them. Gun mode a bit more boring because I don't know, you're not really dashing in and out a lot because a lot of it is staying the distance of firing your gun. Um, it has its own thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is one of the female titans. Female titan variants. I did not even realize the game was peaking. Why didn't anyone say anything? Bruh, I boosted the game up. I boosted the game up because I thought it, it was quiet before. And not one of you, not one of you said it was peaky hard in the gameplay portions. Holy, you guys are scamming me. I'm trying to be a good streamer. Oh, that's still loud. That's still loud. We lower it more. Oh, you guys are scamming me. How about this? Is this better? Okay, you know what we're doing? You know what we're doing real fast? We're just gonna do a little, uh, little... Oh, Jesus.
Yeah, screw this. If I'm gonna be completely honest, facing the female titan is honestly the most annoying out of all of the titans. The thing is with the female titan. The thing with the female titan is that it can fight. It has like punches and stuff, and it knows how to scream. None of the other titans do that. Oh yeah, I want to see something cool. We get Thunder Spears. Uh, for you guys that don't know, Thunder Spears are a weapon in Season 3. And they're awesome. They're, they're kind of like made specifically to kill Titans. It's meant to be like a powerful weapon, so you can't use it a lot. So I... Yeah. Anyway, that, that's Attack on Titan. And now we get Burkhold. We can have tactical nukes anytime we want. gonna go back Ooh, okay we got how many turns is okay yeah, yeah. he disappears faster so we're gonna get better go for reiner yeah that's an accurate comparison So they're called pile drivers. Yes, it is. I couldn't decide what to play, so I did. I just randomly decided to play this. You slip and fall, you lose it all. Would you laugh at me? If you slip and fall and lose it all. Yeah. I don't remember the lyrics. I just remember that part. Wait, is this even the... Did I do the dire? Am I... Nope, we're backing out. I'm just numbing too fast. I didn't even pay attention, man. Yeah. 
You guys want to see something cool again? So we have Reiner on our team, right? So we have Reiner on our team, right? Oh, by the way, spoilers again. Oh yeah, also unlike Colossal Titan, we, we just straight up get to control this. It's messed up though you know it's messed up about that so the whole origin story of our creator character is that the armored titan the armored titan is the one who killed our parents we're basically we're basically Aaron light that's the whole that's the whole like the premise of our creator character where Aaron like we're like a we're like a worse version not a worse we're like a weaker we're like another version of Aaron and instead of Aaron hating like all titans we hate titans, but we specifically hate the armored yes, titan because the armored was. titan is the one that <laughs> killed our parents. Yeah. So it's a bit, it's a bit awkward, but you know, you know. Actually, I kind of want to. So I personally find the cutscenes in this to be brilliant. Like they're really cool the cutscenes. But I kind of want to show them off. We're gonna, we're gonna do a little, we're doing a little watching, you know, you know. Five. Is it this one? No, 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 this one. Yeah, this one. I think it's this one. Nope, not this one. That's also a cool one. We'll get back to that later. This one. やつらに支配されていた恐怖を。鳥籠の中に囚われていた屈辱を。巨人だ。Yeah, that's our parents. Yeah, and they dodged. Yeesh. And then, yeah, the first thing we saw is the armor time. That's why we hate him. As I said, we're literally just like another Aaron. <laughs> we're literally just another Aaron. Like, <laughs> we're just another Aaron, guys. We're, we're literally just another Aaron, boys.
clarify the cutscene. The cool one. Yep, I think it's this one. No, this one. No, this one. No, this one. No, this one. Oh, okay, so the story... Going back. This story mode follows the actual story of Attack on Titan. We're just another character in that universe. Being in charge, that's a whole spin-off. Oh, so, okay, we're going back. Going back to the main menu. So, this territory recovery mode is completely unrelated to story mode. Play the, yeah, see, play the following storyline of Attack on Titan anime, but from the game exclusive protagonist point of view. Has nothing, has nothing to do with territory recovery mode. Territory recovery mode is like its own spin-off like mode, just like another thing to do, you know? As for how we got in charge in territory recovery mode, I have no idea. It game magic. It, it's just how the game is. You just you just gotta do it. Yeah, cool cutscene time. This is another cool cutscene. This is immediately after Annie. Annie is revealed as the female titan and they go like ambush her. I just like that because you get to see the ODM gear being used. Uh, another cool cutscene. Oh yeah, this is another cool cutscene. Oh right, the game takes some liberties with the story. Because this game was released before the anime caught up. So there's some little like changes here. This being one of them. That Eren fought the armor titan. Like, again. Uh, don't worry about it, that's not important. This is the important part. Oh yeah, they had a whole plot where um, the armor titan, the colossal titan, and the beast titan stole Annie's crystal back. Uh, <laughs> just don't worry about it.
We sacrificed ourselves so they could go. They could get freed. Oh yeah, because of the whole name thing, they always refer to us as him, or, or them, or our friend, or that one. So, one of the things I actually like about this game is that while plenty of games have done the whole create a character, you get to uh, look through the story of the anime through their eyes. He actually baited like the, your character like they're like they're, you interact with them and stuff like you're I think this hold on. there's another like you you you've interacted with them you're like talking to them so you're not just like some dude just like watching things happen so like the whole thing at the end where they're all like sad or trying to go back to save is just like well yeah of course they would, because we're like one of their a comma. Not comma. I think this is another cutscene from our point of view. Oh uh, look, it's us. I like the like animated cutscenes, like the CG cutscenes, over the uh, like in-game cutscenes. More spoilers, by the way. Yeah. I think of the other cutscenes in our point of view. I think this is one of them, actually. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's go. See what I mean? Like, I, it's just so much more epic when you're you're like part of it. It's so cool. But there's a bunch of cutscenes like that throughout the entire game where you're just like first person which is really nice like overall like it just added so nice oh right we could do, do this uh where is it i think it's this one this is viver with like the scouts に残っていた巨人の駆逐は完了したようです。壁に相当の大丈夫なんでしょうか。心配ない。すでに中東兵団後兵部が封鎖作業を開始している。中東兵団には多大な負担をかけてしまった。力になれず申し訳ない。いえ
エレンの処刑を望む憲兵団とエレンの力を利用しようとする調査兵団の議論が憲兵団をはじめとする保守派に傾きかけた時彼はエレンの思わぬ言葉を聞くことになる。Damn. I guess I don't ever explain it other than these in game cutscenes, but it's not interesting to watch. Uh, basically, they're like, oh, you know what? The scout regiment's a bit weak.、Uh, why don't we just, like, pilfer this random dude from the 104 scout regiment, the training regiment? Just because, you know, he's nice. He's nice. Maybe, maybe he can help, you know? Maybe. It's a possibility. And then that's what they did. Oh, I think this is from our point of view. This is cool.、Uh, Mikasa's charge. Except with us. アルム、大丈夫なの<笑>エレンはどこ今は感傷的になっている場合じゃない。私は強い。I always love this speech. It's so like condescending. ので、私なら一人でも。あそこの巨人どもを蹴散らせるあなたたちは腕が立たないばかりか、yeah. 臆病で腰抜けだここで指をくわえたりしてればいいくわえてみてろ<笑>あれで葉っぱかけたつもりでいやがるおい俺たちは仲間に一人で戦わせろと学んだか、yep. There you go. Yeah, apparently we were just sitting next to Armin this entire time. Who cares about perspective? We ain't need no perspective. Where were we in that cutscene? I don't know. It don't matter. It don't matter. Anyway, that's enough cutscenes. Let's, let's go. I don't know. Do we want, do we want to switch games? <laughs> do we want to switch games? Maybe we switch games. Maybe, maybe, maybe we do a little quick sussy switchy games. We play, uh. Let's go to, uh. <laughs> We're here. Maybe, we, maybe we do a little. See, I would totally play Fatal Bullet right now. <laughs> Except I uninstalled it. So,、uh, let's do a. I don't have Fatal Bullet. I don't have it installed. We're just gonna go through like all the popular Shonen manga with Shonen anime. We do a little sussy. We do a little, uh. It's already 
I mean, I'm not gonna stop. I think I'm gonna stream for like another hour. Just try to figure out what to stream for an hour. Sussy. Let me do a little, uh, little flying baka, as they say. What does that mean? I have no idea. I'm just saying buzzwords. Uh, what do I have on Epic? <laughs> do I have anything installed in Epic? Or, like, I could play. Trust, trust. I figured it out. I figured out what to play. I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. Let's go! We'll just do a little sussy new campaign real fast. Oof. No, no, no. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I was gonna change the modifiers. No, go back, go back, go back, go back. Skip, 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 skip. Oh no, I, I went too far. I went too far. I meant to change the modifiers. Not like this. Alright, new campaign. <laughs> Do I want to die? <laughs> well, let's have some fun. I've never done glass cannon before. This just seems painful. Gunrunner? Oh, let's do it. Glass cannon and gunrunner. This will only end well. This I cannot see this ending in a poor... I cannot see this ending poorly. The last candidate and Gunrunner can only end well on Mercenary, right? Fez. Fez. Am I gonna die? Please. Tell me. I need to know. Will I die if I do this? Turn them all on. Uh, Cap. Cap. I don't even know what half of these do. Alright, Devils. Just for you guys. Just for you guys. How much cost for that? None. None. Just for you guys. Generations ago, a global capitalist have scorched the world. Oh, what? Nearly exposed and volatile material combined with an earth shattering technotic collapse, dismantling civilization whole. The world order was destroyed. History as we know it changed forever. But from the ashes, a new era began. Hundreds of years have passed. 
humanity is now no in the time known as after collapse. Bez, do you want me to die? We won't get through the first mission. No, Squirt, this is an entire challenge run. You're right, you're right. Let's go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can't believe Fez wants me to die. Black flag. Our contract with this back All right, I forgot they talked. To an and, well, thank God. I don't mind a tropical vacation every once in a while, but it's not very glamorous, considering we're here to work. Anyway. One last thing before the defense minister releases our contract, and we move on to bigger and better. Hitman team, you haven't gotten all that much airtime this deployment, so you're taking point with this operation. We have confirmed the location of the Burlock Privateer headquarters off the coast on the southwestern edge of the Jesta Island chain. I kind of just like letting these briefings go, because like they're just so nice. Outright piracy. According to surveillance data, we have determined that they are the culprit of the recent high-profile hijacking of the Federation-registered cargo ship Mei Lynx. The Mei Lynx is supposedly carrying volatile cargo belonging to the Federation's Department of Global Energy and Sustainability Office. Nothing specific from the Federation contact about the cargo, however, our orders are to retrieve it if possible, or to neutralize it if we can't. Attempts to negotiate for it have turned up with nothing, so we're going in. Hitman team, you are to approach the island from the south along with support and establish control over the area. Your objective is to eliminate any surrounding anti-air and resistance on the island. After that, secure an LZ for our operator group Ronin to ascertain the cargo. Once Ronin lands, maintain air superiority until the next stage of the operation is determined. Be aware that the Burlocks have other Merc pilots on tap, so enemy reinforcements could be a factor. Normally. We'd stay out of contact with any Federation adjacent taskings. But this is the last thing we need to do for our current contract, so I'll let it slide. Two birds with one stone. Easy enough, right? Now get to work. Dismissed. Alrighty, let's go boys, we're about to just die. So yeah, this is the best plane in the game, you know, very nice. It's, it's the, yeah, it's very, nah, nah man. So what counts as a starting, Fez, I think you're the only one here who's played. What counts as the starting plane? Like, how far does starting go? I'm not using the trainer. You can't force me. Or is the, are you saying only the trainers? What counts as starting? So the F-16 is the highest. So I only have guns, so ideally I want turning. Turning and speed. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, I guess I'm using F-16. Oh, look. I get to equip the different hard points, you know, I get the, the, the M lag, the, oh yeah, let me get that. Do I even have anything? Uh... I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I hope you know this. All right.
Can I have an air break? I can't break, can I? I'm just on full burners. I can't see people on the radar. Brilliant. What? Who just shot rockets? I thought I had more time to pull up. I thought I had more time to pull up. Oh, 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 this is gonna go so well. Can I even. Can I even dogfight like this? I got my turning. Bro, my afterburners are beating my turn. I'm speeding up even if I'm turning. Oh. Just, I've just okay. Yeah, you got that right. Someone else got that. <laughs> Someone else got that. Don't worry. I have flares. I forgot I had flares. I'm so used to using AOA. Alright, maybe the strategy is third person. Jesus Christ. 
Okay. Come on then. Alright, let's go. Okay. Alrighty, boys. Pull, pull. I can't. <laughs> I can't do this, man. I have no control over my plane. Okay. One more fail. If I fail, I'm getting rid of... I'm getting rid of... I think I can pull it off. I don't think I can do it with uh, Speed Demon. Speed Demon just removes all maneuverability from me. I think I can do it without Speed Demon. I can't see missile trails on the radar either. Just hey rail guns. Yep, yep. I know. I know. Calm down. The hell did. Did I just get sniped by a railgun? Okay. Clearly. Clearly. Can I change the... Oh, I can. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to Speed Demon. I can do this without Speed Demon. I believe. As long as I can control my plane, I can do this. Oof. This is the Avro Buffley Airborne Warning and Control Systems Aircraft Galaxy. Hey man team, get on the clock. Hey man 3, comic punch again. Hey man 2, copy you, clear galaxy. You gotta let us loose. Just about, diplomat. Hey man 1, Take your flight on this vector until you start to see targets on the IFF. You 
Mais non, ça fait. Wait, 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 wait. Why can't I hold up? Bruh, that handling moderately reduced. Not like this. Bruh. Alright, can I get rid of budget cuts? Look, I'm already gonna die with one missile. Five times damage. Okay, look. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> Would you rather me see me die within two minutes every time the mission starts, or would you rather just see me play this game for an hour? 30 minutes. We wasted 20 minutes on that. Jesus Christ. Okay. Fine. We'll, we'll do it, Richard. We'll, we'll do it uh, Squirrel's Way. We'll do it Squirrel's Way. We roll a number. And then we determine which ones we get. Remove that modifier. Oh, I'm getting scammed. No, 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 no. We're rolling for the modifier. We're rolling more, more for the modifier. How many of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? How do I capture this? Uh, he's gonna add a new source. Sure. Huh. Sorry, sorry. Alrighty, we roll. How many times do we roll? Three. I'll do three modifiers, alright? I'll do three modifiers on Mercenary. Uh, we roll three times, we get three different options, that's what I'll trigger. Alright? Four. Camouflage. Seven. Double time, sure. Five. Sure. Jesus Christ. So I just don't have a radar. I, I just don't have a radar. Nice. Okay. Uh, then get rid of this source. Uh, remove. Then we are back in the game. You got 30 minutes to do this and maybe like the next mission. This is the Avro Buffley Airborne Warning and Control Systems Aircraft Galaxy. Hey man, team, get on the clock. Hey man, three, comic punch again. Hey man, two, copy you, clear, Galaxy. You got a lot of smokes. Just about a couple of Hey man, one, take your flight on this vector until you start to see. Targets on the IFF. You are free to engage. 
Okay. Come on then. Nope. Oh, that is a lot of just stuff in my face. Give me lock, give me lock, give me lock, give me lock. There you go. Okay, come on now. So not used to tracking missiles visually.
real with you. Yeah, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't think I'm surviving this dogfight. Man, they're they're around. Uh, Hitman two and three. There's Hitman two. There's Hitman three. I would never wish I would never want to do this dog fight and I'm doing it F16. Where's my AOA limiter bed? Oh Jesus Christ. are on my tail I'm gonna die I'm gonna die <laughs> Bruh, that's like five missiles that's like five missiles that just hit after my plane died how many planes are tracking me man oh that's like how many planes is shooting missiles at me, man? That's like a three. All right, so correct me if I'm wrong, Fez. But if I recall, mercenary enemies are ready doubled, right? In mercenary mode. So I have doubled enemies undoubled already. So I have four times the amount of enemies I have to face. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure in mercenary mode, they're ready doubled. Just like by default. Yeah. So I'm fighting four times more enemies than usual who have more health and track like they're, they have aimbot because and they all fly like they have AOA limiters because they're insane. They're just insane AI. Oh, well, I just my radar is dead. I can't tell where people are. This is the ever lovely airborne warning and control systems aircraft galaxy. Fess, what if you look <laughs> at my jacket? I got 20 minutes. Hey, I think. If I do, <laughs> if I, if I like go, if I go insane, I might be able to pull off one mission. This one opening mission on mercenary with these settings. Like I would, I would never say I'm an ace. Like I'm like a decent pilot, maybe. But like I don't think I can do this, man. Oh right. I like your I like your idea, Fez. I'm bringing out the. Oh, what did I do? Did I click something? I might have, I, I might have clicked something. Oh no, I clicked the briefing. Not like niche. I I like the cut of your jib, Fez. I like the cut of your jib, Fez. I like your idea. This is a brilliant idea. Brilliant idea, Fez. Let's just let's just do it. What 
Wait, I don't have missile. Maybe this wasn't the greatest idea in the world. Hey, but at least, you know, I can do the funny. Look what I can do. Ooh, this is super slow. Using AOA on these. Okay. I'd like to point out, by the way, I only have 330 bullets. I, I only have 330 bullets. This is impossible. Yes. Yes, I am. Why would I not be using the press mod? Are you insane, Fez? Well, I missed. I get hit by a missile? I, think, I don't think this is possible, man. Oh, you know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a little thing, Cole. We're gonna do a little thing, right? We're gonna do a little, little secret technique. I'm gonna show you what it, I'm gonna show you what it is. So we go here, right? And then we just go to, uh, just, uh, about it you guys are thinking too much PS2 did you play unsung war or uh zero Vulcan war which one did you play oh Jeff, this is a very important question you need to answer this right now which one did you play Answer, man. Okay. Did you have three teammates or one teammate? Oh, you need to answer this, please. This is very important. very important if you don't if you don't say any of these i might have to ban ban you which one did you play do you have three teammates or one y you must answer if you give the wrong answer you get banned <laughs> yeah, you're banned. You're banned. <laughs> no, not like this. Pin of shame. Pin of shame. <laughs> Uh, we could, uh, it's Unsung War or Zero? Did Zero have a tagline? I just always called it Zero. Ace Combat, Zero. Oh, it is called the Belkin War. Yeah, Unsung War or the Belkin War? Which one? Which one's, which one?
I will. I will. I'll wait for Joho to tell us his answer. Okay. All right. Everyone, give him head pats. Give him head pats. Oh yeah, we're going here for a sec because I just remembered something we could do. Let's go, it's back, baby. It's back, baby. Oh, wait, no, we need to shrink it. It's back, baby. It's back. It's back. Bond, 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 bond. Oh no, oh, I'm dragging the wrong thing. I'm just going to assume that's the right. Oh no. There you go, good enough. All right, we got the, there you go. I'm ready. any reviews what is this game artificial intelligence Bro. all right no all right if you weren't here last time we play any game next stream any game any game that gets a 70 and above we play that game reviews we're getting scammed what is this game okay here's wheels back yes it is baby hey yo this looks promising smelter let's see how it is mixed reviews looks Looks kinda sus. Okay, I'm not reading that entire review, but when you got a dude writing this much, when you do got a dude writing this much, surely this is a good game, right? Surely this is a good game. Look, look, I mean, like, there's no denying it. Like, look at, look at how much he wrote. That means it's a good game. I mean, it looks interesting. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, it, but we said 70 and above. The score needs to be 70 and above. This one doesn't even have a score. Very true, very true. Equally bad review, equally bad review. <clears throat> what the fuck? Excuse me? I can't show this on stream? I can't show this on stream. Hold up, I need to. Don't worry about it. I just need to. I just need to look at this for a second. What is this?
Yo, it's on sale right now. It's 59 cents. Oh, no, 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 we can't play this. We can't even, nah, no, 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 no. I'm going to roll the wheel and we're going back. Ignore that left side. It just, it, how do I? Don't worry about it. It's just a straight 18 plus game, man. 20 out of 100. Run over you. What is this game? All right. Bruh. 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 Who is this dude? No one to blame. Oh, they removed it from the store. Apparently they, they did just remove it from the store. I wonder if it was um Yeah yeah okay yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna just gonna keep a uh, just gonna keep on going. This is the cursed wheel, yes. Oh what is this? We got a dinosaur It's not over 70! Yes! Oh You don't know how worried I was. I love Ark. I love Ark. I am not in stock. I'm not. I don't have 200 gigabytes. <laughs> it's not over 70. It's not over 70 though. Look at that. Exactly. It's so chunky. I love Ark. It is such a fun time, especially if you have friends. But I'm not. I I get. I don't have 200 gigabytes of space to install this. I don't. I just don't. Yes. It's a. Uh, I can check right now. Let's see. Ark. 233 gigabytes 233 giga 233.42 gigabytes to install this game yeah i thought that dinosaur looked familiar for a second then it all connected like it's a fun game like don't get me wrong it's just i ain't got time for that I ain't got time for that. Sorry. I forgot that Twitter was showing. Oh. I got a notification that the... Uh, don't worry about it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Alrighty, boys, we're playing guacamole. No, I'm saying God damn it, not because I think this is a bad game. I've heard about it. I've seen it played. I think it's a great game. I was like, I wanted to find another Dark Old Sun. I didn't want to. Alright, we'll, we'll have it there. I'll play it probably. I just wanted to find another like hidden masterpiece. I didn't want to find something like fairly popular. Like finding Dark Old Sun was like a genuine surprise. Yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Especially since it's on sale. I'll probably buy it. But l let's just keep going. Let's see if we can find another hidden gem. Ayo. Maybe this is the one. Esport test toolkit. No, no, not that. Uh, if you didn't watch my Dark Old Sun playthrough, actually, what's the Dark Old Sun? Uh, Dark Old Sun is like a. We'll come back to that. Uh, Dark Old Sun was a surprise. This is only 27, 28 reviews on Steam. It's made by just a guy and like maybe two people in uh, Brazil, I think it was. Or is it Portugal? I remember it's a Portuguese speaking country. But yeah, it was just him and some other dudes. And it's really made like, yeah, the music was good. Art is pretty good. It's just like a really, yeah, it looks. And we just found this from spinning the wheel. And this was a uh, 70 out of 100. It was right there. After we discovered it, it was just like, 
look at it. It's like a really well made looking game. It's short. There isn't that many levels. It's six levels. And the story is nothing to write home about. But like, yeah. But yeah, it's just like really, it's just like a really well made thing. And then, and then, hold up, dark old sun. And then, he's making a dark old sun too. Uh, the dev, I think he's Brazilian, right? Oops. Dark old sun. our way through to find out this is not even them that's not even them that's not even them we're looking for these dudes that's my personal facebook page don't worry about it. I probably doxed myself like 30 times. Don't just, I'm not going to click that again. <laughs> I was like looking and I saw the top right corner. I was like. Is it Spanish? I could have sworn. I remember reading something about it's like they're like a Brazilian or something. Maybe it was a Steam review. Yeah, yeah, yeah right here. Hold up. Now, again, it's a Steam review, so I have no idea how true it is, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brazilian retro style title in some ways, that's where, so they're Brazilian. Anyway, yeah. Point is six stages, really well made, random game we found, and look, 28 reviews. That's all we found, right? 28 reviews. All positive, not a single, single negative review. And this is just something we found from the... Ooh. Ooh. That was just something that we found, yeah. And then, yeah. They're coming out with a Dark Old, Sp Sp Dark Old Sun 2. And it's in 3D. Dark Old Sun 2 is in 3D. And like... Like, it's such a jump in like, graphics-wise. Yeah, and then there's this. There's just like, a random... Like, a waifu maker thing, but like... There's base building. Yeah, but look at look at that. Like they have 3D bosses now. Compared to the first game where it was all 2D graphics, stuff like that. And it's just like and it looks like they changed the they revamped the UI so it's a bit clearer, less uh more design focused. There's a shop. Yeah, and if I recall, the team is still them. It's just him, the main developer, and like two other people. So it's just like, I, I kind of, I, I'm not gonna click that. I'm not clicking that. That's that's such a bait. I'm 
clicking it. I'm clicking it. Already got clicking virus. Nope. All right. So I, I kind of want to find another game like that. Another game that's just like, uh, yeah, another, another sort of like hidden gem, so to speak. Radical Rabbit Stew. Radical Rabbit Stew is a hair raising action arcade game featuring fast paced whack a rabbit gameplay, scintillating puzzles. Okay. Seems cute. Seems cute. There's no uh, score. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it to the side. I'm gonna keep it to the side. Seems cute. I love it. Seems really well made. Okay. I'm gonna keep it. I'm not. I won't play it, but I'll add it to my wish list. You know. Oh, uh, was it that rabbit? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Very possible. I just had enough. Squared up. Still no score. Oh, it's like a Hubert. Okay. Just a puzzle game. Okay. okay. I don't think I'll play it, but yeah. Alright, alright. Alright, surely next one will have a score out of 100. Come on, Computer Cats. That's a 70 out of 100. Come on, Computer Cats. Tower. Oh. This seems like a nah, nah. That deceives Jane. What was that? What is that? Like a man? Where is it? Gordian quest. Oh, 55 out of 100. Oh, let me check this door. Oh, so it's like a card game. Okay. Alright, come on. Surely. Surely, by the time... If we can find another... How long did we roll the first stream? Did we roll for like an hour before we found something? Free to play, psych. Oh. Oh. Just another shooter game. hear that don't worry about it Four people reviewed it? Oh, it's like a old school adventure game. That's why it doesn't know many people played it. Like a yeah, point and click. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's why not many people played it. I don't think it's a bad game, The Legend of Crystal Valley. I just don't think it's it's just out of style. Why are we going to like the pre-2010 games? It ain't even... It ain't even on Steam, it's on GOG! Alright, well... Not a 70, so we skip. Nightfall Escape, 32 out of 100. interested enough in to do a little mostly negative bruh oh you guys can't hear it 
You guys can't hear it, but the voice acting is atrocious. Okay, alright. Oh. You guys need to hear this. You guys need to hear this. This is... Oh, you can't hear it. Okay, let's go. officer who investigated the mansion never returned maybe he got by a vampire or his brain eaten by zombies or or killer babies what you're just going to scout the property and get some really good shots inside what could possibly go wrong who speaks like this you guys ever speak like this Say things at this exact cadence? Exactly like this? You guys don't speak like this? Come on! You guys, I'm going to speak like this for the rest of stream. You cannot stop me. I will just speak like this forever. This is my streamer voice now. You cannot stop me, Joho. I was actually worried there for a second. I was actually worried there for a second. How, do, how are these scores determined? Oh wait, I, I already broke the phone. I can't even keep the joke going. Oh, it's a 39 of 100. I heard Overgrowth is decent. Not, not, not a great game. Decent. But, uh... On sale too. Yeah, it's, it's not 100. It's not 70, so we can't. It's a VR game, so automatically not streaming that. Uh, what is this? <laughs> oh, it's literally just a trivia game. It's the, I, Athena, I guess, just because of uh, the goddess of wisdom and all that. Okay. Of that game? Was that a game? What is this game? Is it an interesting VR game? This is the second game. Apparently the second game wasn't as good as the first game. If I can make it work, I'd love to do a VR stream. I just don't think I can make it work. Like, I don't know. So the thing is, I have a quest. I have a quest too, which is fairly simple to plug in. But for the most part, I play that in the living room, which doesn't really work well for streaming. So, I don't think I can do VR streams. Oh well. But, interesting game, interesting game. Minecraft 37 out of 100 I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna like entertain this with a click I'm not I don't I don't want to check this out it's just fake Minecraft I'd rather if I have to stream Minecraft I'll just stream Minecraft why would I stream fake Minecraft yeah no no if it lands anywhere near woman's body 3 I'm just rolling immediately okay scalp I guess it's just not a well-built game. Poor mechanics. Local club bad. Keep the unplayable. So just buggy. Just seems like a buggy game. I thought it was going to land on the... Uh... Ooh. Okay. Okay. Ooh, 
space game. I like building spaceships. I might play Kerbal eventually on stream. I don't know. I'm kind of interested. What is this? Oh, I thought it was going to be a sus game. Turns out not. It's just... We spin. We'll find a game eventually. Don't worry about it. One of these games has to be a 70 out of 100. We will get the destined. Destined game like we did last time with Dark Old Sun. It will not be this day. And I'm not clicking on this. Dance with memes just sounds like a horrible game. This one, whatever, what is this? Sticks. So close, my dude. So close. You're not a 70, though. So close, my guy. Too bad. Too bad. Ah, right, come on. Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. Alright. Another, uh, I don't even know what you call these arcade shooters. Uh, except, unlike the other one, this one's mostly negative. Oof. Oh well. Big rip, my guy. Mini golf. Nope. Alright, we keep rolling. If we'll find a game. We will find a game. You guys have to believe. You have to believe. Is this an ultimate game? Oh, it's an RPG maker game. Okay. Is this even in English? Apparently it is. Doesn't look too bad. Translation is horrible. Translation bad. Okay, so just translation is bad. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Wait, no, 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 not safe for work. We back out. We back out. The transmission. Okay. Well, mostly negative, multiplayer only. Oh well. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You guys saw nothing when I clicked Midnight Elixir. <laughs> 25 out of 100. Kind of looks scuffed, so I don't want to click it. We'll find a game, guys. You have to believe in the heart of the cards. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> hide, hide. How do I, how do I, how do I? Wait, no, that's also bad. We keep rolling. We're back. I can't believe we rolled two sussy games in a row. Crystal Clash. I don't know. Can we turn off? That's to add, okay. Okay, how about this? Just to make our lives a bit easier. We still have to roll 70 and above. Yeah, okay, we could set, but let's, I don't want it to be like we get it immediately, you know? 
So let's set it to 50. 40. 40 to 100. That way we still have a bit of fun, you know? Oh, okay. How do I... Because also part of the fun is finding random games, you know? So what do I... Go back to the wheel? Huh? Don't go. Don't go. Hello? Oh, hello? Uh, hello? You get, we broke it. We broke the wheel. We can even get back to the settings. We refresh. We do a little refresh. Look at there. We're back. We're back. Look how many games were cut out. Like, I, I've heard of some of these games. I've heard of Sid Meier's Ape Patrol. I've heard of Divinity. 43. Welcome to the pool hall. Nope. Alright, we got this. Fifty-six. Nope. Come on. We got this. Surely. Surely there can't be that many games below 70. How many games realistically can exist between the 40 to 70 range? Not that many, surely. God damn, what the hell is this? <laughs> it's a Square Enix game, apparently. What the? What is this? There isn't even a video! There isn't even a video! Bro, is it actually- Bro... a squirrel look at him he got the squirrel suit on i do i did say i did say it's also 97 cents right now Alrighty, i'll add it we roll one more time for just for fun for five more minutes that's when i need to end stream so <laughs> bruh bruh why 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 sketch run Seems interesting. Yeah, this is like 
I'm just kind of like interested. Interesting concept. I don't think it's ever being finished though. Because, uh. Looks like it's been in early access for. Three to th six years? So, yeah. Interesting concept to the game though. It has a cat, and it's by Spike Junesoft. I have to click on it. What the fuck? What the hell is this? What is this? What? 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 Why is this a screenshot? What? Why is this a screenshot? What is this? What is this? Nah, man, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on that real fast. Nah, this looks like a like a twenty dollar game. I'm not paying. Uh, uh, I mean, I I feel like it is a good game. Like I fully trust that it is a good game. I'm not paying twenty dollars on sale for it. Alright, let's just take a quick look at the Spike Tunes off sale. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Cry Machina. Oh, there's nothing to do with it. It looks sort of familiar. Is this Spike Chunsoft game? Oh, the publisher. I was about to say they don't they don't do anything similar to a Spike Chunsoft game. If I had the patience, I would totally play Wave of the Samurai 4 again. The thing is, I don't have the patience for these type of games anymore. The absurdity... Yeah, that by the way. The absurdity of how... Okay, let me, let me explain to you about this game and the absurdity of it. So, on the, on the surface, this is a fairly standard uh, slash... You, you fight as a samurai, you're slashing, blah, blah, blah. You fight against the evil British occupiers, whatever. No. 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 That's not what this game is. This game is... What is it, three days? Does it tell you?
I think it's three days. You have three days. Or it might be a week. It might be seven days. Wait, let's see if we can find it in the reviews. Okay, none of the time. You are stuck on an endless time loop. This isn't a story mechanic, by the way. This is just a gameplay mechanic. You are stuck in like a time loop of three. F maybe I, it might be a week. I forget. And you have to. So the. First time playing it, chances are you're going to get a fairly standard ending. You let the you help the British take over, you let the rebels take over, or you help the shogunate take over. Those are like the quote unquote standard endings. You get those just by helping those people. The absurdity of this game comes when you realize that there's the gameplay isn't about completing the game. The gameplay is about finishing the game on all these different endings, collecting everything, and realizing you can affect time. You can change things before the... Okay, so one of the big things is uh, there's a dojo, right, where you can train people, train yourself, etc. If during one of your playthroughs you own the dojo or you, you become good enough for the dojo, you'll get that dojo for free in your next playthrough because you change the past by changing the future because your future is your current playthrough and you've changed it you made it so you can own the dojo in the past from the future because that makes sense another thing you could do is uh there's a blacksmith right uh he's a fairly decent blacksmith but he's not the best blacksmith <laughs> so he's not the best blacksmith so, in one of your playthroughs, if you decide to get the- you recruit the master blacksmith, right? And it's a whole convoluted process. Uh, inv okay, see, you're using terms like time paradox as if it's- No. It would be a time paradox if you're changing stuff in the future to change the past. But no, it's you're just doing stuff in the- thing and then things change and then you don't realize this until you're like your fourth playthrough like completely blind and then you realize wait why is this thing different when i'm doing this playthrough oh right it's because i did this random thing in my last playthrough that i didn't realize persisted through this current playthrough because why would i ever think that something i do in a future play in a past playthrough affects the future playthrough when the past playthrough takes place in the future of the past I think the blacksmith quest involves like a grave robber and it's like <laughs> Yes, I guess sort of like yeah. You want me to tell you what the most absurd thing about this game is? To get the perfect ending. My god. My god, okay. Get the perfect ending it requires a series of convoluted and nonsensical okay to be fair they make sense you help the people what to get the secret ending one of the events you need to do is to fight the rebels at this particular location take it outside and then sheath your sword at which point a dialogue option pops up for you to tell them to stop because you are their friend, blah blah blah. We should do this and that, right? Fair enough, standard thing. At no point ever in the rest of the game, before, after, is it ever mentioned that this dialogue thing where you just sheath and then a dialogue bubble appears is a thing you can do? They don't mention this at all. So you just have to. They don't mention this at all, nor is it used anywhere else ever again. It's used in this one specific fight, this one specific moment, for one specific ending. 
to get... It is the most ridiculously specific thing you have to do. Because there's no like, oh, you didn't want to fight them. No, you have to intentionally... This is an intentionally antagonized fight. And then you have to sheath your sword. And then trigger a dialogue bubble, which is never used anywhere else. That's what this game is. This game isn't a samurai game. This game is an exercise in frustration. And this... If you want, if you want a game that reminds you of like the early 2000s and like 1990s in terms of like the ridiculous specificity you need to do to trigger secret endings or like secret stuff, get this. This game is insane. My brain hurt just thinking thinking about it. Sorry, that was just, just that, yeah. Anyway, that's Way of the Samurai 4. Don't worry about it. We're, go we're going back to this. We'll roll like two more times and I gotta end stream. I, I went on my rant. Oh, this looks cute. 2D platformer? Oh, it's free! Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll keep it to the side. I'm not sure if I'll play it, but... Alright, last roll. Let's see what we get. Pumpkin, Mr. Pumpkin. Oh, point and click, huh? Okay. All right. Okay. So I guess this is what we're playing eventually. I next stream is definitely going to be Metal Gear Solid Five. I don't want to uh, miss out too much on that. Uh, but yeah. I guess at, at some point, eventually, we're going to be playing Legacy of Cain. Yeah, anyway. So yes, thank you for coming to my stream, my impromptu gorilla stream, in which I raged for like a portion of it, apparently, because that's what I do. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I got nothing to say. It's like 1 a.m., so I'm gonna just go shut down everything. Go sleep. Yeah, toodles, guys. See you later.